Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to Skyrim where today we are climbing this big mountain because it's time for us to go meet the Greybeards. Now I cut out a lot since the last episode that you guys seen. I've probably put um I want to say around an hour in of me running around and doing a couple different things. Nothing that was like really serious. The only thing that I maybe shouldn't have cut out is I did do like this cave that was in the middle of a pond that's over there. Um, I went in there and I was sitting there fighting some stuff and I was like, okay, yeah, this is just a regular cave, whatever, no big deal, right? And it ended up being like this whole thing where I got this amulet piece. Let me see, is it in my misc things? Uh, I got, let me see, is it under keys? Well, I got Lord German's key, so if that tells anybody where I was. But yeah, it, it was, it, it's this weird, like, piece of an amulet, more or less, um, that I can build. And yeah, it's a thing I'm, yeah, this one, Golder Amulet Fragment. So this is, increases your stamina by 30 points. It's a fragment of the Golder Amulet, and I think I can put it all the way together. Um, I'm gonna keep on the minor health one though. I'd rather have the extra health. I think this gives me 20 more health. I'd rather keep that on um, Other than that, I got myself some steel armor and uh, What else I leveled up once Yeah, really that was that was really it. I got some steel soldier armor um, and yeah, so we made our way all the way over here. I don't have any other weapons or anything like that. I got a couple staves that I could sell. I also got this Baldor Black Bow, which is really, really cool. Or Galdor. I keep Baldor. Baldor's Gate. Uh, no, Galdor's Black Bow. I'm not really sure what it is, but hey, we got that one too. So we're going to make our way upstairs. The fight actually wasn't that hard because all I did was just use Lydia, who's, well, there and I summoned out a storm anarch using a storm anarch summoning spell or Arnok Ar Archon probably Archon uh, and it just kind of hung out and they kind of did everything I kind of ran around and shot some fire at it and then used some healing every now and then and I didn't have a problem with it at all so in this one I wanted to keep you know climbing these stairs although that made it look like my game was lagging really bad I wanted to keep this in here because I know that there's some events that happen on our way up here so for keep instance an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to high Hrothgar. yes I am going up the path to high Hrothgar. I'm also delivering some goods for somebody because they're like, yeah, my old legs aren't what they used to be and we need to deliver some goods up there to them. So I'm bringing some food up to the Greybeards as well. Just as a little extra, here you guys go. Um, it doesn't really do anything for me other than that, but I thought it'd be nice, right? Why not? Here, watch out for wolves though. Uh, I do know that there is, I think it's a frost troll up here somewhere when you start getting up here a little bit higher and this is also kind of an important part for the story as well coming up here to the gray beards and stuff like that and i know i said i was going to cut out all the walking and stuff but i didn't think that this walking was too much uh all we got to do is pretty much just keep uh following the stairs and you make your way all the way up there but yeah as you can see i'm almost level six now um i have a bunch more money than i had before i have like four thousand now because it's the stuff that i gathered up i ended up looting that whole place looted out two different towers. one was like a mage prison and then another one was like a tower of bandits i was in i was tried to i got invaded by a thief one time he tried to kill me that didn't work so well for him and then i also got um, I also ran into some soldiers that killed some Stormcloak soldiers, took their armor and tried to charge me money. That didn't work out so well for them either. I just ended up killing them and taking their money. It was a whole thing. But all this has just been like solely working my way this way uh, to get over here. It was just like the walking, right? And it didn't really hold any significance. Now, it was a lot of progress that I kind of cut out. And after thinking about it, like... If I'm going to do, like, a dungeon like that again, I'm not going to cut out the dungeons anymore. The small, like, side towers and caves and stuff. Those I can cut out unless I'm doing them, like, middle of the video. But, like, if it's just a part where I'm walking from somewhere, I'm just going to cut it out going in the future. Now, here's a person I can talk to. Hello. Yeah? Hello. Yes? 
Did you hear the Greybeards called Tova Keaton? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Uh, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Who are just you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Sure, see you later. All right, then. Bye. Glad to talk to you. See you later. So yeah, right up here, though, should be my frost troll buddy. And thankfully, we got Lydia with us, so she's been kicking some serious butt with that house Carl axe that I gave her. The... Yeah, right here. This should be where our frost troll is. Um, Alt is full. I'm going to go ahead and put on flames. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Ooh, you got a lot of health. Ooh, you got a lot of health. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you're broken or what, but you got a lot of health. Hey, my destruction increased. That's nice. Now that's at 30. That means I'm going to be able to get that, uh, get another skill in there once I level up. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. This is the first time I've died. Oh, I'm all the way back here when I sold stuff. Oh. Ah. Uh. Dang it. All right, all right. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. We made a quick save. We're back. Lydia's here. And we're going to try to take on this troll again. Let's do magic. Destruction. Eight points of damage. Let's go. I'm going to try to take on the troll again here let's see you mirror where is it hello there it is Okay, items, hang on, hang on, hang on. Potions. Heal up a little bit already. Before you hit me again, items, potions. Get a little bit more of that. I don't even care how much this takes. We don't want to die. There we go. Dead. Nice and easy. Lydia, are you okay? I really hope you didn't take too much damage. Okay, here, let's, uh, magic restoration. You know, I didn't even check. Lydia, did I even take all the right stuff off you. of you? I need to trade How some things. You, my Thane? What's up? I need to, I need to, yeah, thanks. Oh my lord, I never even grabbed all this stuff off of you. There you go. Thanks for all this stuff back. I'm gonna sell all that a little bit later. Let's get going then. Um. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Finish healing up here. Go. So I think it's down this way. A lot of steps up and down this mountain just to get up to where the graybeards are. And they just hang out up here all the time, doing their voice thing. Working on their thumb. But we are dragonborn, so we can just come up here and use the thumb, well, pretty much right away. Like, yep, okay, gotcha. I can do this. Uh, also, put these away. We don't need those right now. I think that's everything I'm going to have to fight while coming up here. I think. I think. Because I think the troll was like the last challenge you have up here, and then you move on to 
just talking to the Greybeards. Maybe there's some wolves up here still, although this is pretty high to have wolves. Hello. Here we go. This is where we want to be. Can I have my axe back? I don't know if they're, they're not going to fight me or anything like that, but I would like my axe back. Look at all these staves I have. Staff of Spark, Staff of Familiar, this black bow that I have. Where's my Steel War Axe? There it is. I like the War Axes because they're a cross between Speed of the Sword and Strength of the Mace. So that's why I stick with these. All right. Here you go. Is it in there that I put it or... Do I, just, do I just put it in there? Let me see. Is it just like this? Misc. And then... There we go. Return to him. All right, cool. But speaking of returning to people... Oh, it wants me to go in that door. It is a specific door it wants me to go in, so I'm going to go in this one. Open. Hi, Hrothgar. Hello. Why didn't you let me go in the other door? But whatever. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I am answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Here you go. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Hello. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Angir. Tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. I'm answering your summons, Master. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only you dragonborn? You are not born. the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is hmm. all I can say. I see. Uh, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Well, only Without one way to know. Training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Okay. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Gotcha. You, you, ah, you're, you're putting words in the ground for me. Little... A little pixely. You could probably do better next time. A little, little pixely. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Cool. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Ah. 
Thank you. Okay. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Press Z to shout. The longer you hold it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to push you over. You got more targets for me? Again. Also, I'm not sure why you can't hear me shouting. I'm not really sure what's going on. Like, he's not actually doing, uh... You learn quickly. Once more. He's not actually doing, like, Fusa Row. Yeah, it's like my character's voice just doesn't work. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We okay. will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Follow Master Gloin. Oh no, Boin. Bori. Ah, yeah, no, sorry. Got me a little excited about Lord of the Rings there for a second. The Hobbit Dwarves. Get, can you, can you, can you, can you? I see you only walk at one pace, snail. Can we uh, kick that up to slug maybe? That might help me out a little bit here. Because, you know, I have important things that I need to do. You just walk slowly, I guess. Okay. What you got for me there, old guy? We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Whirl. Don't just shout at my feet like that, all right? Here, I'll take that. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Okay, I'll take that one. Word of power. Whirlwind, Approach whirlwind Master sprint. Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Thanks, my guy. Big preach. All right. Magic. Shouts. Whirlwind sprint. All right, now I can do it. Now we will see how quick. Magic. Shouts. Whirlwind Sprint. Only learned Whirlwind. That's a big word for Whirlwind. Where you can master a new shout. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Wolfgar. Okay. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Rex. Like it was nothing. What's up? Speak to Iron Eringer for your quick mastery of a new thumb is. Uh... Astonishing. <laughs> I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Uh, I, th uh, uh, I, I thought no, it was easy for everyone. Indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. All right. There are only four Five. of you. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Okay. Uh, do, 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 I think that's everything that I want from you Sky? right now. Gotcha. 
Sky, guard me. But yeah, that way up there. I got to get through there so I can go up and meet Parthenax. But that's not going to happen for a little while. Because, yeah, this is like... A, I have to, like, cull the storm or something like that. And, yeah, I can't... Ow! 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 Yeah, don't go up there. It hurts. Lydia, don't go in there. It hurts. Okay, so... I've now learned more magic words. I can say magic powerful words. Like Fus and Ro. But now they want me to go and do a... A, a, a place... You want me to go up here? The roar, the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. That's a long walk. Well, if I take the, the thing to, to Morthal, I can go back here and I could take a, a carriage to Morthal. We'll give it a try. I'm trying not to do too much walking in these episodes for you guys. I feel like that that's just kind of lame cakes to do that. Okay, so Morthal, Morthal, Morthal. We're going to Morthal. Excuse me. can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? I'd like you to bring me to Morthal, please. Climb that was back, expensive. But nonetheless, we're still going to go there, and it's going to be nice. Okay, climb in back is what he wants me to do. Gotcha, climbing in back. Hope you're not getting too wet back there. Hope I'm not getting too wet. Dude, it's raining outside. Of course I'm getting super wet. Are you getting super wet? Taken the wrong way. Anyway... Morthal, you got your own problems that I'm going to have to work through a little bit later. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. <clears throat> They're having some problems with some stuff. I'm not really exactly sure what, but we'll come back here and we'll figure that out later. Right now, all we care about is going over here. Get me sick. I'm not sick. Why does everybody keep telling me that I'm sick? Like, that's one thing that they've said over and over and over and over and over again. Like, as I walk up to anybody, they're like... Why do you look so sick? Why do you look so sick? I'm like, I don't look sick. Why are you telling me that? I mean, I, I guess I'm like a little sickly looking, right? But I don't think that I'm ill. Maybe it's just because I'm a high elf, so they think that I look sick? I don't know. It's weird because they're like, you look ill. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling well? Like, that's what people keep telling me. And I don't know why they think I look sick. It's probably just because I'm a high elf. Honestly... This is the first time I've played a High Elf in Skyrim. I've always played, like, a Nord, or um, I've played Imperials, or I've played a Red Guard, or I've, I've even played, like, Argonians and stuff like that, but I've never played as a High Elf before. I think one, elf, one playthrough I did as a Wood Elf, but... Or is it a Dark Elf that I did, and then I did the Dark Brotherhood? I don't remember. But all I know is that it was just, like, it's weird that everybody keeps telling me that I look ill. Oh, well, it's probably because of my pale skin. But anyway, we're already here. Thankfully, that didn't take too long. So we're already here. Uh, guys, 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 this isn't going to work out well for you. Oh, my heavy armor increased. Uh, I'll take the gold. Did, oh, there's just a necromancer here. Whoops. I put the wrong shout back on. I never switched my shouts over. My B.O. Oh, what do we got? Ectoplasm. Some vampire. Do oh, they're a vampire? I forget if you can get bit by them and turned into a vampire. An orcish war axe. That's 10. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Weapons. Don't mind if I do. Nice. All right. Ustengrav. Let's go. Try not to get bitten by vampires here. Gold. Lockpick. Nordmead. Never sold all my stuff. I'm going to have to give all that Thralls stuff back to Lydia. Slower than Argonians in a blizzard. 
Excuse me. In the... You guys on fire? Well, you're dead. All right, sweet roll, a steel sword. I'm gonna grab that because that's some money. Full respect to the sweet rolls, though. Frostbite. Ooh. Don't mind if I like these new potions and spells. Items. Books. Yes. Excuse me, you. I, got your back. I need you to hold some things for me. I am at your command. Yes, you are. Thank you very much. All right, now please hold all of this stuff. Hold this black, this bow. Uh, hold staff of sparks. This, 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 this. All of that. Hold all that. And then while you're at it, hold that and that and these sets of boots. Oh, put my iron plate boots back on. Thanks. And yeah, okay, cool. Let's Thanks for holding all that stuff for me. Big preach on that one there, homie. All right, mage robes, gotcha. A gourd! Healing potions, important. Iron sword, not needed. Chest. Amethyst gold, yes, mine, K. Okay, thanks. What do we got over here? Banded outlaw. Silver sapphire necklace, that's worth some money. All right. Guys, remember... We're not after becoming the Dragonborn here. We're after becoming rich. Fear poison recipe, mine. Let me see, items. Uh, Books, fear poison recipe. Naman's root, blue dragonfly wing. All right, well, we'll have to remember that for any time in the future. You guys seem to have had some problems with the, uh, with the Draugr and all of the fire. Oh, look at all the Draugr. I don't know what hit me with electricity. There we go. Grab you, grab you. Novice Fire Mage. Staff of Sparks. That's worth money, so we might as well grab it. Money's worth money, so we might as well grab that, too. I'm going to have, like, pockets just breaming of gold. Look, Edgar! All right. Take a little peek. Nope. Take a little peek. Nope. All right. Canis Root. Well, I grabbed a pot. Money! There's money, like, in all these pots, in these urns. Like, when you find one, they actually have money in them most of the time. And, like, rings and stuff like that. These are worth a lot to actually go... Come on, with the with the commands. To go through and open them all. But it just it's just, like, another thing that just takes more time. Potion of health. Restoration. Nice. That's why I always read books. All right. Any more pot that I need to grab here? No? All right, cool. Back on our merry adventure. Look at all this dead that's over here. Who left a, What? What are you? How are you? What are you? Okay, that's where the extra magic's coming from. I was wondering where that magic was coming from. It's coming from her. Apparently, Lydia is now a battle mage as well. She's like summoning out familiars and stuff like that. Can you stop hitting me, please? Fire, 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 fire. Oh, I am hurt. Oh, I leveled. Level up! Um, let's go down health again. I feel like health is really where I'm, like, leaning that I need the most. 
Um, now back to destruction. Apprentice destruction. Augmented flame. Maybe it's augmented flames. Let's see. Oop, 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 oop. Fire spells do 25% more damage. I'm using flames a lot, but I did just get that new frost spell. And that does stamina and health damage. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me look at that magic. Let me look at that skill here real quick. Destruction. Frostbite. It's a novice spell. Uh, targets on fire take extra damage. Eight points. I'm going to go with flames. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my flames again. Destruction. Oop, 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 oop. There it goes. Yep. Flame spells do 25% more damage. Nice. All right, let me get that money, honey. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. You guys doing all good? I'm going to grab that iron helmet because I can sell that too. Not for a whole lot, but we can sell it, so we're going to grab it. There's a chest right here. Potion of healing. Random other potion. You coming? I'm going over this way. Ooh, somebody left their coin purse on the ground. We need to go to the Ustengrav depths. Huh? Also, actually, I think I just quick save because I came through a door, so we'll be okay there. I'm always worried about dying. And, like, I hadn't died at all in the gameplay yet until I just did at the beginning of this episode, and that sucked. Also, this episode might be a little bit longer because I wanted to throw some action in here other than just talking to some old guys, so... Oh, yeah, look at that damage now. That was some good damage. Ancient Nord Axe. Nope, don't want you. I think down there's where I need to go. Yep. Nope, you haven't. Watch out for those fires. That hurt. Oh, look, a Draugr. You're dead. This, this orcish axe kicks butt. I like it. Although, I'm really looking forward to getting, like, an ebony axe. Oh, yeah, that does decent damage to you, doesn't it? I uh, feel good. I uh, feel good for you up there, too. All right, enjoy being on fire. You didn't die. Yeah, health potions. Any more? Just a fire in here. How long has this fire been going for? Can I have your money? No? All right, well, screw it then. I didn't want your money anyway. I think up here's where he came from. Which way am I supposed to be going? <laughs> I'm just walking around like, I'll find where I'm supposed to go here soon. Hey guys, how you doing? You guys can't even hit me. Like, you guys try and then you just end up dying. Look, at you're dead too. Activate handle. I don't even know what that even did. I just saw it, so I pulled it. You guys ever see, like, a big red button, and they're like, don't push this, so you push it anyway? That's kind of what that was for me. I know I'm also probably missing a ton of stuff, and you guys are probably like, Sim, stop! You're missing this, and you're missing this. I know I'm probably missing a lot of stuff, but we're just trying to have fun, right? Skelly bones. Did 
There seems to be a little bit of fire over here. There is a chest over here, though, that I want to grab. Hey, now I'm on fire. Nice. Enchanter's potion. Mother Skelly Bones! You guys are really weak sauce. You see, I think right over here is... Yep. Another Skelly Bones. Yep, you're dead. Any more? Potion of True Shot. You have an Ancient Nord Warhammer. What are you fighting? Oh. Okay, you can't even handle a skeleton. I'm going to need to replace you there, Lydia. All right. Down we go! Huzzah! Because there's a word of power, right? Did I really just die by jumping off that small thing into some water? I did that thinking that I would be fine. Ah! Uh, why must I have such supreme fall damage? Ah! Uh, Fine, I will wipe them all out again. That was ridiculous. That was straight up ridiculous. Blah. We're going through this fast now. We're going real fast. It's probably because I was out of health, to be honest. I think I was out of health and wasn't paying attention to it, which is probably why I died. Speaking of not paying attention to your health... Magic! Restoration! Healing! Okay. Magic. Destruction. Fire. Okay. Oh, yep. That one. Oh, I know what that lever opened. Here. I missed what that lever opened. It was right next to me that whole time. So if I press this button here, and I come over here, it opened up this gate. See? 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 There's an orcish dagger back here. A chest. See? It was worth dying and coming back. Now, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in my brain, but still, it was worth dying and coming back. So that way we can run over there and grab that. I can't believe I died from that small fall. It was like a tiny itty bitty fall. I was like, ah, do oop, done. It'd be like falling, like jumping out of a window, kind of. Not like out of like a two story or four story building window, but like out of like your, your normal house window. Like, like if you jumped off an air conditioning unit or something like that, like. No, I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm going right for the big guy. He's dead. Grabbing the potion, a true shot. Killing this skeleton. Put your hand down. Thank you. Like, look at that. I went from there to there into the water and died. Like, look at that tiny fall. Fine, fine, whatever. It's fine, whatever. Oh, surprise, that fall didn't kill me. Can I have my word, please? Is this da? Is that what this one is, or is this the flame one? Fade, become ethereal. Well. Figured that out. Alright. Now where in the world do I go after this? That way. So I think it's up here, right? Hello, gold. We're here. 
Is this the right way? No, it was not. All right, back upsy topsy we go. Hooray, waste of time. Do do do, oh, do do do, do 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 do. That's my fun adventure music. All right, so is it, it's across that way. It's across this way and back down the hallway that's back over there. I got this. Through this doorway here. Ah. Ah. You Trixie, Trixie. But. Whoops. Okay, hang on. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! You suck! You suck. I rule and you suck. Where are you guys come? Uh, oh, oh. I didn't realize there was things on the floor. I need to be careful. Might fall to my death. What's my health at? Okay, my health is full. Hot. Hot. Don't touch the ground. It's lava. Speaking of lava, oh, biggin, oh, biggin, oh, biggin. I've been poisoned. Oh, I've been poisoned. And restoration spells. Go, restoration. I need to favorite this stuff. While well, in game, press Q for favorites. Why have I not been doing that? Why? Why? Why have I not been doing that? I wonder how many people in there in the comments and stuff or even like just to themselves are probably sitting in like this guy was just a favorite this stuff his life would be so much easier. I need to favorite my axe too. Open the wooden door. Pull the giant horn. All right, I think I'm gonna have to fight the wind caller like guy. That. I think. Hey guys, that's a cool effect. Not gonna lie. Mysterious note. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Meet the meet whoever took the horn. I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room in the sleeping giant in Riverwood. I'll meet you, a friend. Well, 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 then. We went through and killed everything for me. Well, crap. Apparently you had the back way in. Ooh, money. You left all the money for me, though. I do appreciate that. At least you'll give me something for all my hard work. What's in the chest? Uh, madness ore? Staff of courage? I don't even know what madness ore is, but... It's probably worth something. Somebody, somewhere. Okay, well, I need to go to Riverwood now. Huh, I don't think Riverwood's anywhere. Is, is Riverwood where I... I 
Riverwood's where I've been before. I think Riverwood's where I've been before, right? Let me see. World map. Yeah, Riverwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been there before. I know what we're doing there. It all makes sense. That's where you go to meet Delphine. That's right. And we'll talk more about Delphine in the next episode. Oh, man. Delphine? Way to steal my stuff, all right? I'm just saying. Way to steal my stuff. I want my horn. Give me my horn back. And uh, I'm getting out of here. This is enough of jumping through crypts for me, thanks. Look at all these things that are dead because of me having to do all of this. So yeah, I'm out. That was fun, but but I'm I'm out of here. All right. So in this episode, we've went and we've talked to the Greybeards. We have gone through and we have fought a whole crap load of things. Thankfully, I'm not a uh, I'm not a um. Maybe that's why I'm sick. Do I look sick because I'm turning into a vampire? Man, I hope not. I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, that's going to leave this one, guys. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.